Hey guys, welcome. Stop talk and roll episode 100. Can't believe I've done 100 of these. Um, if this is your first time on the channel or watching the show, I break down jujitsu rounds and uh, give you some feedback. Um, I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've been training for 13 years and um, and I teach. Uh, and yeah, so just break down some roles and have some fun with it and try to learn something new, uh, selfishly try to learn something new and try to provide some good uh, feedback for the people in the video and for you who are watching. Um, yeah, and uh, we have a fun one today. Uh, it was Hudson's birthday and Blackie here um, on Wednesday. And uh, Jeff put him through the shark tank. So um, basically what this is, he's already been rolling for a few minutes at this point. Um, and we have some, somebody new jumping in literally like every 30 seconds to a minute. Um, it got a little crazy with the timer. Um, but uh, you're just gonna see, it's kind of just a fun, fun time. Uh, Hudson's in here the whole time. Um, and just proceeds to get uh, mauled by everybody in the room. Um, and he does a pretty good job holding everybody off, but it's not an easy thing. Um, but yeah, uh, also, we're on episode 100. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to go through some like cool little things, like where we're at now, and you know, hopefully look, on, look back on this in the future and, and you know, look at uh, how the channel's progressed. But um, I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, Ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. And if you'd like me to review one of your rounds, just reach out. Um, I'm also going to be making, starting with this video, a much heavier presence on social media. So hopefully we'll drive into new traffic. So if you haven't been here before, just reach out. I'll try to get one of your videos. Uh, if you'd like me to review one of your rounds, we'll get down here. Um, so this this is a slightly longer one, but I'm, I might let this run a little bit more too than your typical video. Um, again, Hudson's already been rolling, but this video is seven and a half minutes long, which is longer than the usual five minute rounds that I do. Um, but he's also kind of just getting mauled the whole time. So I'm just gonna kind of let this go. So Dan's, I might just actually just live narrate. Dan's coming with a nice knee slice there. As I immediately say, I'm gonna live narrate it and then I stop and come back. Um, when I like to knee slice Dan, um, I like to drop my hip down to the ground or a uh, kind of on them and then and then get that underhook right on that far side and slide down and through okay um you end up with kind of a tighter situation here again Hudson's already been rolling Dan just came in fresh so if you've never done shark take before ooh with the three quarters or the half nestle nice um when you go to take the back Dan Okay, so they do that. This make sure that you get this bottom hook in. Boom. Okay, you get the ah uh, now. See, you don't have the bottom hook in. You see what I mean? So when you have that top hook in, it's not the worst thing in the world. Right? Top hook's in, but it allows Hudson to turn his hips down and out. So if you're ever if somebody ever takes your back and they only have one hook in, if you can somehow make that hook on the top side, it makes it pretty easy for you to escape. Also, you don't have diagonal control right now. So you have control of this shoulder and this hip, which lets Hudson sink out this direction, okay? If you have control of this shoulder, you're gonna wanna control of this hip. Or if you, because you have control down here, what you could have done is quickly shift to this side and then take him this way, and he won't be able to turn, okay? Um, as I was saying before, Hudson's already been doing this for a few minutes. I think he might've already been like three minutes in. Um, so he's been getting He's been going through uh, the business. So this is how Shark Tank works. They're, they're still trying to kind of figure it out. <laughs> See, uh, um, Hudson's done Shark Tank before, but uh, basically what happens is the timer goes off and you switch partners and the person just jumps in. Like, you're not going to slap high five. And it's not like a disrespectful thing. It's just, you're not going to slap high five. You're just going to jump in and go. Um, obviously, you're not going to like spear them from behind. But um, So he's in with Raphael right now. Um, Hudson's playing a little butterfly guard. Um, nice pass. And then, yeah, see, like, Bob comes right in here. So, hold on. You know what I'll do? I'll do one breakdown per person. Let's do that. So, let's see. And then I'll just let it play unless I see something cool. Um, I... 
this pass worked, but I typically don't like to jump ahead. Like I like to be methodical when passing butterfly. So I kind of think of it like I have to pass his ankle, his knee, his hip, his body, his chest or his shoulders, and then his head, right? And I like to go like one, two, three, four, five, and then eventually six up to his head. I like to be methodical in that order. I don't like to um, skip steps because it, it, you can get launched very easily. So I would, you, you're, these legs are fine where they are, but instead of holding them up on his shoulders, you're skipping control over his hips. Okay, so I would bring my elbows back down this way and bring this knee to the floor and connect them in an elbow knee connection right here. And then what that does is it makes it very hard for Hudson to move. Now, granted, we're doing a shark tank and you have 30 seconds to work. I'm aware of that. Um, so, you know, you might be skipping some when, I, when my round comes up, I'm like skipping things because I, I just want to like try to give Hudson a hard time for 30 seconds. But yeah, shark tanks usually last like Usually it's like three people or four people and you have a minute round and one person stays in the middle. So Bob comes in, immediately dives from side. I like that Hudson's getting his elbow and his knee together. You gotta turn more on your side, Hudson, and then obviously Bob's doing a good job crushing you into the side. Um, this should lead to a back take. Oh no, mount, okay. Oh, head and arm. Okay, let's see if he gets this. So instead of leaning this way, Bob, I want you to go um, down and roll your, you roll your shoulder forward, down, and then pull your lap back. Okay, so you roll your shoulder forward, down, right, to eliminate this space, and then do like a big lap pull down with your, with your arm here um, on this side. Okay, and that's going to create a lot of pressure. All right, we're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, you gotta keep going. So Bob's here, back on mount. Hudson's tired. He should be looking to hip, hip escape right now, but he's probably just trying to survive like up top. Bob's going for some fancy chokes from the back. I asked Ricky to uh, move Hudson back to the middle of the room, <laughs> which he did. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Um, all right, so we have this front headlock. E. I don't. I know that. I know the Dars is the other side. Um, let's see if Hudson. I. I actually. Uh, full disclosure: I'm working on my front headlock, so I'm not going to claim. Is that a Peruvian? I'm not quite sure. And Chris is in. Chris has great Kimuras. Chris was uh, on the first episode. Yep, and look at that, hunting right immediately for the Kimura. That was pretty. Yep, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, I know Hudson's got like Gumby arms. Um, let's see what that turnaround was. All right, so he passes. Hudson, this is the second guy that's kind of got past your butterfly. Um, you want to have these hooks sticky, and if they come up, you gotta you gotta kick them up, and and sneak your knees like kind of weave your knees back in, um, to create hooks again to keep them off of you. All right, um, but yeah, look at this. We're working on the Jermel special right now in uh, no gi class Tuesday Thursday six o'clock, um, which is uh, essentially a, a a way to access the Kimura in this like side position. Um, and I know Chris does it well, so he's going to slide this hand right into the armpit to create, to create that disconnect between the elbow and the body, right? So right here, it's already in place, right? And then he's using that to apply the, um, Kimura. The only thing I would say, Chris is active wrists, right? So motorcycle grips. So whenever you have a Kimura, you want to have, excuse me, you want to have active wrists just like so. You keep the Kimura. Yeah, that's a little choke too. I think I said something and you let it go. <laughs> I mean, you could do that at Shark Tank, but usually reset a little bit for him. Nice, Hudson. Almost. And 
Got that Kamara again. Very nice. Hudson's beat. Who's coming in? Um, Zach? I feel really bad. I think his name's Zach. Nice takedown. Okay. So let's watch this. Hudson comes up. He's got it under his hips. He's underneath Zach. Gets him coming forward a little bit. Goes for... So Hudson's committed to this because he's going down. So taps his leg. Drives him over. Beautiful. Nice takedown. Nice. So right here, Hudson, shelve the leg. So get two legs on one side to, to block his one leg here. And then you work your way around with a body lock. Again, you only have 30 seconds, so... Kind of hard, but that's what you want to be doing right here. You had it right here. You see how his, his knee is here and his, it's like his, his knee is like a V like this. You want to pinch your knees together and keep his leg there. It's a good position to be in. It's a body lock. Nice sack trying to go for the, the triangle and the arm bar. Wrong arm on that. Ooh, Jan's a tough one. Oh, right into the... Yeah, I can't really... Yeah, he's got the rear egg choke. That's a rough one. It's a, it's a rough one to pick up. Um, Notice the subtle little tap. These are the little things, guys, that goes a long way. Watch what Jan does with this right leg right here. Okay? He walks in, knee right to next to Hudson knee, Hudson's knee, and he does this slight... I'm going to do frame by frame. He does this slight little turn, and that is the best arrow I have ever drawn. Like in my life look at that see that little turn this is a little pivot his foot's still on the ground it's a little pivot and it gets hudson's knees facing away from yan okay which makes it much easier if you've watched my videos before um if you follow like gordon ryan all those guys um it makes it much easier to get around their guard or to control them in side control uh, because their knees are facing away from you. It's harder for them to hip escape into you. They need to have their knees facing you. So Jan does that little kind of like pivot there, brings the other leg in to be the wedge now, and then he's able to step up with this leg. You guys see that little chain? Watch again. Okay, watch. So this leg plants, has the little shift in. This leg comes to meet it and plant as the wedge. And then he's able to shift this foot. Beautiful little pass right there. One, two, three. I'll do it in slow motion again. You can slow the video down too if you want. So watch. Watch. Step. Pivot. Tap the knee. Replace the wedge. Right? Slides to the side. Uses his hand, punches through, jumps around the leg, and pass. Really nice pass, Jan. Subtle, but that's usually those are, you know, what you want to look for. All right, we got a mount, little Ezekiel. No problem. Oof. Pete and Jan. It's probably like two of our best uh, back players, just back to back. That's a rough one. <laughs> Pete's got these long, oh my God, right into the, <laughs> the body triangle. That's rough. Shanice is on deck, ready to go. Well, let's see, re-attack. Re oh, heel hook in the gi. I'll allow it. Legal though. Good job, Pete, getting your foot back to the floor. Yeah, Hudson, I know you're tired. You got to work on your uh, butterfly guard a little bit there. Shanice, no mercy. Knee on belly immediately. Nice, nice, Shanice. Oh, little too far. You see where you tilted? So come in, when you come back in, when you go to re-engage, be low, right? So you, you, you barrel through, but you got to anticipate that the momentum's going to keep going this way. So either have a post out here ready to stop you oh that's behind my head post out here <laughs> ready to stop you okay or right here just settle down instead of going this direction 
right? Go, just settle down with it. All right, nice little reversal. Give Hudson a break here. He's just gonna get his back taken again though. Nice body lock, good pressure. I would abandon this Shanice. Um, I would look to get that in front of the face as a wedge. Yeah. Hudson's got to improve his game <laughs> of getting ready for the person coming up next. Uh, don't cross your feet. Tatiana, what are you doing? <laughs> don't cross your feet. Um, yeah, be careful. Oh, oh, I lost my, yeah, don't, don't, um, be careful with that. So just unhook your feet and hook. You, honestly, guys, I, I'm even wary just keeping, even if my feet are unhooked, I'm wary about keeping my feet below the hip line because even if they're not unhooked, they can grab onto it and be super annoying. I'm not going to tap from it. Um, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't tap from it. But it's definitely annoying and it's something you have to address. If you just play with your knees, with your feet above their hip line, this is an impossible thing for them to do unless they put your foot back down there or you voluntarily do that. Okay? So this won't happen if your feet are above the hip line. But nice job, Hudson. You're still in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shark Tank rules. There we go. Um, as you could tell, we don't really care about doing heel hooks or not in the gi. So don't leave your comments that we're like horrible people or something. I promise it's fine. Nice. Beautiful, right into mount. Yep, that works. Oh, I remember this live. You, uh, so that's not gonna, that doesn't work, does it? Hudson's got, yeah, Hudson's got um, super Gumby arms. But even still, let's do this correct. So your arm needs to be under um, his tricep or behind his behind this part of his arm, not in front of the forearm here, okay? So you need to pull that back. And then when you do the Americana, you don't lift it there. You need to bring the elbow down down to his ribs and you need to paint them the mat right like a paintbrush use his hand along the mat you can't let his hand come up once you have his hand his hand pinned to the mat and you bring his elbow back to the, his ribs then you can start raising the other thing is just like the kimura with the motorcycle grips you want to have motorcycle grips with the americana as well okay And Hudson turns over. Nice. Who's this coming in? Jordan. This is Hudson's brother. Nice. I like that. Just rip him out of there. You can just jump on him next time, Jordan. You gotta have good back defense to, to survive Shark Tank because most people will jump right on your back, which I do not blame them. That's what I do too. I think I jump I think I jump on Hudson's back. There you go. Sit up and grab sit up and grab your own leg here, Jordan. And and put this foot right, so this foot that's on the bottom, put it right in his hip so you can adjust. Okay? But make sure you grab your own leg first so he doesn't just pos uh, posture out. Let's see what happens here. Um I'm buying the wrong arm. Oh, I think we're getting towards the end here. Jeff's in. And I think I'm in next after that. As Jeff goes right for the back as well. Oh, cool little adjustment and a little bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Nice. And then, yeah, see, you continue. <laughs> Hudson is shot. And then I'm in. It wasn't giving me much, so I was like, I'll do a little collar joke. I'm continuing. Roll him over. <laughs> Rear naked choke. And then I try to arm bar him, but he is Gumby, and I did not want to rip. And so then I was like, let me get cheeky, go for a leg lock. But he was privy. Hudson's pretty good with the leg locks. <laughs> the round's over. Woo! I got everybody. Nice.
<laughs> Happy birthday, Hudson. Good work, dude. Good work surviving that. Uh, let's get uh, a not close up. Let's get some random shot here. Um, let's see, because I'm going to talk a little bit. I probably should get a screen for this. It's a good idea, future. Oh, that's a good one. Perfect. Okay. Let Jeff be on there. Okay. So, um, first of all, good job, Hudson. Uh, different kind of episode there. Kind of just had a fun one. If you haven't watched any videos before, um, you know, I usually just pick around <laughs> between two people, not a bunch of different people, um, and break down what they're both doing well, what they can work on and whatnot. Um, uh, I just wanted to kind of document a couple cool things. Um, I wrote down before I did this episode um as of uh this so i'm recording this on july 29th 2022 this will come out tomorrow morning or well it'll come out today at 8 a.m but for me it's tomorrow um but i had currently have i have 100 episodes but i only have I, I just started working this um the beginning of april so you know three months i guess four months coming up on four months now um 69 subscribers i have over seven thousand views um, so, uh, you know, it'd be cool to see what happens, um, in the, in the future. Uh, I don't know how big the channel will get, or maybe it'll say the size. I just genuinely enjoy doing this. So like, I'm, while I would love to get, you know, more people kind of bought in, it's mainly not, it's mainly so I can get to watch more jujitsu and, and analyze more jujitsu, especially jujitsu. That's like not my style. Um, you know, some gi stuff, uh, stuff with, that's like more like drag dog dominant. I'm really bad with that. Um, obviously with Ricky, with the headlocks, I got us, I've been working on that a lot. So, you know, I just started working, you know, I've been trained for 13 years. But my Dars was terrible up until like a month ago. Thank you, Dean for that. Um, so yeah. Um, thanks everybody who's contributed and commented and, uh, subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for everybody at the, especially at Greenwich Jiu Jitsu, um, for like obviously just everyone jeff the owner um for you know giving letting me do this like letting me film at the gym um everyone kind of like buying in i know a bunch of people were kind of like you know uh skeptical at first or, or wasn't quite sure what i was talking about um and everyone's really bought in and and you know been sending me at, uh, rounds and i really appreciate it guys thank you um thank you uh you know to everybody that comes to my classes I appreciate that as well. And um, yeah, you know, episode 100. It came on quick. Uh, I'm excited for the future. I'm going to keep working on it. Um, please come to class. Please submit some videos. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And give and give this one a share. Okay, I know I was talking about, I, I was kind of uh, apprehensive to share just yet. I kind of want to work on it. I feel like this is becoming a much more polished product. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I would love to, you know, get this around. So I, I appreciate it. Um, and, and, and the other thing is I also appreciate everyone that gave me feedback specifically about the channel, um, helping me just make it a little bit more um, legitimate, um, making better videos. I know I need to start editing. Um, Jan actually turned me on DaVinci Resolve, which I just downloaded today. Um, and it uh, looks pretty good. So I'm not going to – I'm just making progress. I'm trying to make every video better than the last um, and, and I know editing will be a part of that soon, but, um, for now I'm just going to keep having fun. All right. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Kind of a longer one today. Um, but that's okay. It's episode hundred. Who cares? Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you on the mats and, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. I've uh, lost my mouse, so I will stop recording when I can find it. Okay.